The professional baseball season culminates into one postseason series. Goshen College Baseball ends their fall season with a similar high-stakes event, the Maple Leaf World Series. But this World Series is more special than most. The Maple Leaf World Series has been a tradition for the Goshen College baseball team for quite some time now. And I'm proud to announce that this year and for the foreseeable future, this Maple Leaf World Series will dedicate and be an honor to our late assistant coach, Doug Wellenreiter. Many coaches aspire to leave a positive, lasting legacy on the programs they work with. Few reach that level, but Doug Wellenreiter has. Every day he came out to the yard, he was like the hardest working dude there, and he was he was pretty old, you know, and he was one of the guys my freshman year that I talked to a lot. Like, he, he would sit there and talk your head off, you know, and until you couldn't talk no more, and he, he was just a really great guy and really just an inspiration. Like, you can't come out to the to the Sarge and compete and have fun and not think of Doug. Doug Wellenreiter was the assistant coach of the Goshen College baseball team from 2015 until his passing in 2020. And myself and the rest of the team were brought to tears um, after hearing of his passing. Kelly Wellenreiter, Doug's wife, spoke about just how much baseball meant to Doug, especially the Maple Leaf World Series. This World Series was his favorite, and I, I told Brad, I said, the reason why he loved it so much was because if he won, then all the players on his team got to come to our house and I had to fix a great big meal. And so every year he'd come home and he says, well, I won. He says, so what are we going to fix? And this was one of his favorite parts of the year. I mean, he loved all the travel and stuff in the spring, but because it was among the baseball players themselves, he really loved seeing the kids at their best and playing against each other and really having a good time. For Doug, coaching wasn't just about winning. He always said he wasn't making baseball players, he's making men. He wants to make men out of baseball players. Those that knew and were coached by Doug are continuing his legacy. It's great that we can pass on his legacy because, man, he rubbed off a lot on me, and he's not here to do that for these kids. So now it's up to us to continue his legacy and continue his coaching as far as we get to go. Playing in the Maple Leaf World Series now means something more than bragging rights. It's a way to remember and pass on the lessons that Doug wanted his players to learn. He was the Maple Leaf World Series, you know, like, he brought the energy and the hype and, you know, he, he came out here and, and like even though he wasn't playing, you know, he was competing with us because like he wanted to win just as bad as everybody else. This means a lot, though, that they're dedicating that to him. I mean, he's been gone three years now. So I said this has been a really big year for Doug, even though he's missed out all, all of it. He's had a really big year this year. So it's nice that he's still being remembered. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Alyssa McDonald.